guys, welcome to my kitchen. Bienvenidos a mi cocina. Today, we're gonna be making a Cuban treat called boñatillo seco. Now, there are two types of boñatillo. There's the pudding, and then there's the candy. So, we're gonna be making the candy today. So, let's get started. Hola, mis cariños. Hoy les traigo una receta de Cuba llamado boñatillo. Pero hay dos tipos de boñatillo. Uno es un um, dulce, y el otro es um, un pudding o postre. Hoy voy a hacer los dulces. For the ingredients, you're gonna need one large boñato, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, a lime or orange peel, one cinnamon stick, two star anise. You're gonna need a sprinkle of uh, cinnamon powder, a pinch of salt, and a quarter cup of powdered sugar. Para los ingredientes, necesitamos son una taza de boñato, una taza de azúcar, una cucharadita de vanilla, una cáscara de limón o naranja, una ramita de canela, dos estrellas de anís, un cuarto taza de canela en polvo, unas pizquitas de sal y un cuarto taza de azúcar en glas. The first thing you're going to do is peel your boñato, and then after you peel it, then you're going to cut it and um, dice it up into smaller pieces. Okay, lo vamos a pelar y picar en cuadritos o trozos. So the next thing we're gonna do is start to boil our boñato. So I'm gonna add all the boñato in the pot and I'm gonna add enough water to cover the boñato and I'm gonna boil this until it becomes really soft so that I can mash it. Lo ponemos en una olla y echamos agua hasta que lo cubra. So now I'm gonna add two star anise and I'm gonna add one cinnamon stick. I just rinsed it, that's why it's wet. So I'm just gonna put that in the pot to give it flavor. Okay, le vamos a poner dos estrellas de anís y una ramita de canela. Lo vamos a tapar y lo hervir durante 25 minutos más o menos. So we're going to um, keep this covered um, and we're going to cook this for about 25 minutes until the potato is soft. When you cover it, leave a little gap there so that it doesn't overflow. No cubra la olla completamente. Been 25 minutes so now we're gonna check to see if our boñato is ready and it feels soft enough so now we're going to pour off the water. Vamos a ver si nuestro boñato está listo y ya está listo. Cuando el boñato esté hablando vete el agua. So now we're gonna put our boñato back into the pot and we're gonna mash it until we get a puree. Vamos a machacar el boñato hasta que tengamos un puré. For this recipe, we're going to measure out one cup of puré de boñato. I mean, one cup of boñato puré. Okay, para esta receta necesitamos una taza de puré de boñato. So I have a little bit more than a cup of boñato. So I'm just going to put everything into the pot. Tengo un poco más que una taza de boñato, así que voy a poner todo en la olla. No importa. So now we're going to add in our sugar and mix everything together. Ahora le vamos a echar nuestro um, azúcar y le vamos a uh, mezclar muy bien. Now we're going to go over to the stove and put our pot on the stove. And we're going to put it on a medium low of flame. And we're going to continue to stir this. Constantly stir this. Don't stop because it will burn at the bottom. Le voy a echar nuestro puré en la olla. Poner fuego a medio bajo y cocinar este um, puré hasta que la textura del poñato esté más seco. So now I um, added a little bit of salt. Uh, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla. Along with that, I'm adding cinnamon powder. And I'm going to add the um, lime peel and the orange peel to the uh, pot. Okay, añade unas pizquitas de sal, uh, le vamos a poner uh, una cucharadita de vanilla, canela en polvo, las cáscaras de limón y naranja. Now, if you don't have um, a lime or orange, it doesn't matter. You don't have to add it. It's optional. Um, it just gives the um, boñatillo like a nice citric flavor. Si no tiene un limón o una naranja, no te apure. Este paso es optional, no es necesario. Um, le da un sabor cítrico. 
you want to constantly stir this i mean every now and then you can stop stirring it you know but stay by the stove so that you can make sure it's not burning at the bottom recuerda revolver esta mezcla constantemente puedes descansar un poquito pero no te vayas de la estufa porque se quemará rápidamente When the uh, mixture starts getting darker and the um, mixture doesn't stick to the pot, um, then you know it's ready. Cuando la mezcla cambia un color más oscuro y no se pega a la olla, entonces sabe que está listo. You can tell when it's ready because the mixture gets really thick and it sticks to the spoon. So once your mixture gets like that, then you know it's ready. Empezamos a formar nuestro dulces. You can add um, powdered sugar to the bottom of it, so um, it could prevent the um, bonetillos from sticking, or you can just put it just the way it is. I'm just gonna put a little bit like this and sprinkle a little bit and just rub it on my parchment paper. Estoy usando dos cucharas para formar los bonetillos. Okay, puedes dejarlo así o puedes añadir un poco de azúcar encima. You can leave the bonetillos just like this and eat, um, eat them. Or you can um, sprinkle a little bit of sugar or powdered sugar over top of it to decorate it. So um, it's your choice. So you want to leave this to sit overnight so that the next day it could be more firmer. You want it to dry out more. Um, right now, it be um, if you eat it right now, it will be a little bit too soft. Déjalos enfriar durante la noche y el día siguiente puedes disfrutarlo. So now I'm going to add a little bit of sugar over top of it because my powdered sugar um, absorbed. But anyway, um, I'm going to take a little bit of it, um, take a bite of it so you can see what the texture is like. Um, una cosa sobre los bonetillos es um, cuando el clima um, es húmedo no es un buen momento para hacerlos porque um, no es uh, no son tan firmes. Okay, ahora voy a probarlo. So I'm gonna take some, and it's really delicious. It's sweet and it's a firm texture, and um, it dried out from the night before, as you can see. Qué rico. Es dulce y la textura es más seco y más firme que ayer. Lo ve? Well, my friends, it's time for me to go. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook and my other uh, social media platform. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bueno, mis cariños, es solo para ayudarme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like. Suscríbete a mi canal y sigue me en Facebook, Instagram, TikTok y Pinterest. Gracias por verme. Muchas bendiciones. Hasta la próxima. Adiós.